hospital. Then you can have the first two, then I'll go around the room, okay? Hey, yeah, your thoughts on what you saw tonight? Yeah, they expected game, eh? So um, it was always clear that Tottenham will show up like they showed up uh, with all the individual quality they have and with the game plan they have. Um, it was clear that it will be incredibly difficult. Um, didn't get easier when you can see the goal and was really happy with a lot of things in the game, to be honest. So, actually, I, what I, we were lacking. So first half, the first 25 minutes, wow, crazy start, really, really good, um, put them under pressure. Yeah, direction, our game, passing in the game, speed of the passes was really good, but we didn't score. Um, then it was always clear they will, they will um, <laughs> make one mistake and they are there. So, um, but this next 20 minutes roundabout, I, uh, we, we, thought, we said in half time we could have showed more initiative in, in moments, just a little dribbling here, like getting closer to, the, to the, their formation to keep them busy. So we pass a little bit too early, these kind of things are fine, but um, we could have caused some more problems. I thought we did that in the second half, we started immediately again, high energy, um, and then you can see the goal. And now everything can happen in a situation like this. You can completely, after the weeks we had with the, I'm not sure how many games more we had than Tottenham, but very few. And now in the moment like this, really can everything happen, but nothing happened. Stadium was there, boys kept the calm, um, increased the pressure without opening up too much. Um, we scored a goal, and then all these all these little moments. So you might not remember them, but diagonal ball probably Thiago on Hendo in behind the last line. Hendo square ball, great, but we don't anticipate it right. So we don't have anybody. This is the moment where you, you are there. It's exactly the same game, and you just can has to have at least a shot, and Loris has to make a save. Diagonal ball cost us. Miss hit the header, hits, heads it back instead of um, where we were. Then the, the biggest one probably because the quality of Thiago, when he has this little shuffle and chips the ball in the second post area where Trent is completely open. And in the end, missing by two yards. And that's an inch on the football boot of a world-class player. So these moments, they, they hurt them because you don't have plenty of it. They, they fly with everything they have. They block the balls. They do everything. They were here for result. Obviously, I know you all think the game plan of Tottenham worked perfectly. Uh, yeah, that's what we have to accept. We have obviously a different game plan. Even when we play at Tottenham, we have a different game plan. And that's, that's how it is. So that's why it's really difficult to play them. For them, when they face a team with more possession than them, then it works out pretty well. But they don't have these opponents all the time. Obviously, there's two ways of looking at the results. It's really an important point. It is an important point because of one point more than before the game. So that's how it is. But we all know the situation. We are now top of the table. Um, if you ask me, my favorite situation, but it just stays like this with the same points tally and City and us, we lose all the rest of the games in the Premier League and it stays like this. That was my. So it was great. But we all know it will not happen. So in this moment, we, we are disappointed. The boys are more disappointed than I am. Um, that might be because of my age and because I saw pretty much everything already in my life. Um, but we will, we will go again. There was so many good things tonight. In a situation like that, the counter press we played today, that, that's a, that's a, 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 you can recall it and sell the, and sell this stuff. It's unbelievable. Honestly, it's unbelievable. And that, I'm so proud of that. But in the end, how I said, in little moments, a um, little bit better decision making. It's easy for me to say because I don't run and I didn't run four days ago. Um, but we all know the boys are um, able to do that. And um, then we could have won. But of course, you know, we could have lost as well because they are obviously insane in, in their counter attacking. and. Um, that's what they want to do. I saw a lot of the things we want to do, but not the result we wished for. Thanks, Vinny. Okay, anyone else in the room? Yes, James, and then we'll go to Sam. Yeah, 
I am delighted with all of the boys, to be honest. I, I really think they all became better over the last year, but Ibo is a, is a, is a, from a, from a center half point of view, he's a kid, very much <laughs> in this in this position. Um, you get usually world class a little bit later, but he obviously can do that earlier. Yes, I'm very pleased with what he's showing. Yeah, that was the reason. Sam? Uh, yeah, with, with your experience of title races and seeing <laughs> where, where do you stick here on this one? Do you think there are a few more twists and turns? Because uh, uh, you've got so few points between the two of you. Um, what, what, how do you sort of read Look, I would, I would love to sit here and say, yes, City will drop points. The only problem is I, 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 I can't see it. That's a problem I would wish. Some I would think differently about it. It's just I can't see it, um, and but we will see what happens. My, my problem in the moment is not how um, City smash Newcastle tomorrow. My my problem is that we play uh, uh, on Tuesday against Aston Villa, and we, we again we do like we won this game already, but it's of course not the case. It, they're so they're the toughest 95 minutes in between now and the final whistle. Um, that's that's crazy, but. Um, so again, um, we have a point more than before. It's good, and from the, from the situation we were when we were one nil down, it's really massively better to be honest. The, the, the goal counts really, um, but um, was not exactly what we wanted. And now we have to deal with it. We will. That's that's clear. So again, um, we will try. Um, to prepare as good as possible, as we always do, um, and try to be ready for Aston Villa, which in uh, Villa Park, oh my God, that will be tough as well. But yeah, we will give it a try. Good. Final couple of questions. We'll take one here and then Dave Maddock. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned that there were a couple of things that sort of relate to the way the team attacked. There were moments you didn't quite score. How impressed were you with the way Spurs defended? I can't, I'm sorry, I'm the wrong person for that. I don't like this way, kind of football, but that's my personal problem. I think they're world class, and I think they should be do more for the game. Having a game against Liverpool and having 36, 30 percent possession, I, but it's my problem. I cannot coach it, so that's why I I cannot do it. So yes, world class players block all the balls, really difficult. Atletico Madrid is doing it, so fine. They won whatever uh, in the past. Fine, absolutely fine. It's just I I can't. So, but yes, I respect everything what they do, but it's not me. Dave Mallet to finish. First and foremost, we should stop behaving like we uh, um, on a funeral. So I didn't say that to the boys, but it's a little bit the mood here. So we, we, we still talk about football, and these kind of things can happen. And it's now in my life much, much worse things happen, to be honest. And I'm still here. So you overcome things, and that's today. That's not that's not a, a general problem. If we would be only ready for, we try everything as long as it works. We are really happy in the moment when we when we have to get the first little whatever is stone thrown in our way in that moment we stop doing it that would be really not I wouldn't like that too much to be honest so it's just we have to show resilience we will um, but we, we, if we would have won tonight it wouldn't have increased the probability to win against Aston Villa not at all so then maybe there it would have happened so that's how it is um, we have to go we will prepare we will try um, the only chance we have that something goes our way in the end is to win now again or the football, football games we play. Imagine City would lose <laughs> at one point. I can't see it, but imagine that. And we are, because of um, because we don't believe anymore, we then um, cannot use it. That would be really insane. No, no. So the boys are absolutely in the mood they should be now. Very disappointed. Absolutely, that's fine. But um, from tomorrow on, I heard the spring is coming to England, so maybe we can use the weather a little bit um, for being in a good mood, and we'll try. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. There we go. Welcome. See you inside.
Thank you so much for checking the video out. If you want more from us, then do consider joining Red Men Plus, which funds everything we do here for free on YouTube. But not just that, we're going to give you a whole bunch of incredible Liverpool content in podcast and in video form, extra Red Men TV shows and documentaries, features and interviews with Liverpool legends past and present. Get closer to the city, to the football club that we all love on redmenplus.com. Click the button, head over there now.